Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. Hey everybody, Mike Fraser from Miller Industries. Today we're here with the first domestically built 1075 knee boom. Oh, hold on a minute. Hello? Hey Mike, it's Cameron at Honest Charlie in the Coker Museum. How are you today? Good, how are you? Doing well, thanks. I've got a request. Our truck is unavailable and we're finding ourselves in need of uh, help moving a vehicle. Um, what do you need moved? Uh, well, you know, we've got a lot of really cool stuff down here. Why don't you come on down and you'll see when you get here. Oh, really? You're going to challenge me a little bit today, huh? Heck yeah. Awesome. Yeah, let me uh, wrap up a few things here and I can be down there in about 15 or 20 minutes. All right, that sounds great. We'll see you soon. All right, buddy. Thank you. Normally, we don't have carriers here in Ottawa. They're built up in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, but we happen to have the Florida Tow Show giveaway 258 Hino here with the 12 series LCG carrier bed on it. The Florida Tow Show still plans on giving this beautiful Hino away. To simply just go on to floridatowshow.com, buy your tickets, and on October 24th, they'll be raffling this beautiful truck off. As most of you know, in my career, I was a heavy duty operator, but I've definitely done some light duty work. I've done a lot of hurricane relief work over the years, hauling them flooded cars. This Hino here would be great for that type of work. First thing I've noticed is the easeability to get in and out of this cab. All kinds of room inside, and just the visibility out of this massive windshield is unbelievable. All right, let's go see what this guy has for us to move. I really can't get over the crazy amount of visibility with this windshield. And next year when this thing comes out in an extended cab, what a great truck this is going to be. Not only that, this cab is really quiet, virtually no road noise at all. It's great if you're looking up for your GPS or it wants to tell you turn by turn, or if you're trying to communicate with dispatch, or if you're simply rocking out to a little bit of Kid Rock. Play some rock and roll. Another cool feature of this truck is the built-in technology. If the check engine light comes on, it sends an email to Hino Corporate, to the Hino dealer and to the owner of the truck. What a great deal that is. The faster you get this thing back on the road, the quicker you can be making money. Hey Mike, good to see you. How you been buddy? Last rotator school, right? That's right, it's good to have Miller back here. Yeah, it's great. Man, the place looks awesome. Thanks man, I've done a lot here. What do you got for me? We have a 1976 Scout here for you. Wow, man, that is a really cool truck. You know where that would look good at? I sure do. In my garage. <laughs> Not where I was thinking. So Cameron, tell me about this bad to the bone Scout you got here. Mike, this is a 1976 Scout. We actually got this as a barn find, as you'd call it, in uh, on a TV show that my father was on called Back Road Gold some number of years ago. You should have seen this thing before. It was in terrible condition. And we actually restored this right here at Honest Charlie. It is one of 384 of these things. And the interesting thing about this vehicle is that it actually has half of a V8. That's called a slant four. So it's, there's just nothing else like this thing. It's got so much torque, you could climb a tree in this thing. Man, I really like the convenience of this LCG carrier. Being five or six inches lower than your standard carrier bed just makes everything so much easier. I know this isn't a tall load, but if it was, we don't have to worry about hitting anything with it and then just strapping it down like this four point strap down we did here. So much easier for me to do. All right, guys, let's go get this thing unloaded. Being from Detroit, I'm accustomed to a pretty flat terrain. But now that we're down here in Tennessee, the 7.8 liter, 260 horsepower, 660 foot pounds of torque engine does a great job on these hills. And since Hino is owned by Toyota, you're gonna get incredible fuel efficiency and great reliability. So 
I hear you're a Harley guy. Mike, we've got a lot of restored bikes in this museum. This isn't one of them. This is as original as it gets. This is a 1948 WR. It's a race bike from the factory. This was actually ridden by William Lee Flowers in the 50s, and he got second place in the races that he competed in. We've even got his original gear, and nothing on this bike has been restored. It is exactly as he wrote it. Come on this way. I've got something for you. Oh, hey, thanks, Cameron. Absolutely. Much appreciated. Great shirt. Hey, it gives me an idea. Thinking about having a little unauthorized uh, giveaway of some uh, Honest Charlie swag and some Hino swag that I'm yes. getting. What do you think? I love it. Okay, they got to go on Facebook and hashtag Honest Charlie or Hino Nation and share this post, and they can get some free swag. Love it. Just do me a favor. Don't be telling them marketing. What guys. are you doing? Hey. Not again. Not again. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm in trouble now.